This is what really happens in chapter three of Poppy Playtime, or at least according to Game Tunes. Uh, hey, let me go. Someone, anyone. Uh, okay, we're starting no out with player trapped. You, player. They couldn't, even if they wanted to. Wait a second. I don't think we've seen this guy before. So I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm pretty sure Game Tunes works with Mob Games, who made Poppy Playtime. And I don't know if they work together on ideas. However, I do know that they are like collaborating together on some of this content. So some of the stuff you see in today's video may be featured in chapter three. Just keep that in mind. Their nature prevents it. You're wrong. I have lots of friends here. They'll come and rescue me. That's where you're wrong. They're not your friends. Not before, not now. They're monsters. That's what this place does to people. It turns them into monsters. And so, I'm gonna let your inner monster come out. Hey, what are you doing? Stop, no! Whoa. We'll do that. Wait, okay, so this dude, I, I don't know if he's still wearing a mask or what, but it seems like he's part human and part monster, which we haven't really seen before. But in the other Game Tune animations, we kind of learned that a lot of the monsters at Playtime Toyco, they are actually people, except they got merged together with these animatronic monsters and they're just the same being now. So I don't know if this guy is like maybe a mix of the both. Maybe he was like the original monster even though we think that's Huggy Wuggy, but let's keep Fish watching. Together. No! Uh, uh, I'm, I'm alive. Oh, I, I feel kind of woozy, but I also feel good. Okay. Player, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. A flamethrower, huh? Yeah, this'll do. Hello, Earth the Player! Are you listening to me? You know, it's fitting that you'd be the first to go. Hey, what? Wait a second, okay, is he brainwashed right now? Because normally him and Huggy Wuggy like teamed up a little bit in the past. So I don't know if chapter three is going to be you just killing all of the monsters. It could be. I'm into you. You sound different. This place, it's infected. Run to the core. I realize that now. You, you're just a symptom. Player, you're scaring oh, wait, me. Wait, what? Oh, he got brainwashed, didn't he? Yeah! Someone <laughs> help! Player's gone crazy. <laughs> He's lost Good. his mind. Call them all. Bring them to me so that I can destroy them. Oh my <laughs> gosh! Bro, he needs to be in a Player, clinical mental asylum. Back here. Beautiful. Isn't it? What's that? Does the vermin wish to speak? Who's this guy? Do you have any idea who I am? Unbind me at once. I know all about you, Mr. CEO. And believe me, you're in no position to be making demands. Okay, so this dude, he took over Bobby Playtime Toy Co. Factory, or whatever you want to call it. So... The CEO is wrapped up that, you know, at least to our knowledge, he's not in on this, which I thought maybe this guy could have been the CEO or just maybe, you know, one of the, the failed experiments of Poppy Playtime Toy Co. Factory, whatever. But this guy obviously has him hostage. So maybe he's taking, you know, extreme measures to make sure that every creature in the toy factory is disposed of. And he's using player to do it for him. He may have been in control of this place once. But I'm running the show now. You're just a madman with a grudge. That's where you're wrong. Why does he have a I grudge? I have a vision. A vision for the future. And you, my friend, you have a front row seat. Player will destroy your creations, your life's work. And only after I make you watch your empire fall will I allow you the sweet release of death. You know, I don't really know who this guy is. He has like floopy bacon hair, but he seems to have a pretty bad grudge against the CEO. I don't know if they were maybe brothers at one point or maybe they worked together. Maybe he was one of the scientists, then he got fired. But I have a feeling that we're gonna get a very long drawn out backstory. Dang, and I thought I was evil. You are evil. Everyone here is. I'm like this because of you. Can't you see that? I'm not even the one who made you into whatever you are now. What happened not to him? No, 
but she funded the man who did. Unfortunately, that idiot got himself eaten before I got the chance to kill him myself. Oh, yeah. So you'll have to suffice. Shh. The show's starting back up. We don't want to miss the best part. Okay, so now we learned that that guy is stuck like that. He's not just wearing a mask. Oh, no. Something's wrong with the player. I gotta go find him and save the others. Huggy! Hmm. He couldn't have gone far. Player? Can you help me find my mommy? These um, hallways can get so confusing. Of course it's one of Mommy Longleg's children, bro. Look, it's such an adorable little animatronic, and it's about to get burned alive. Of course I can, baby Don't do Longlegs. It. Don't do Don't it. Don't worry. I'll take care of you. Don't do and it. And after I do, you and your mommy will be together forever. Oh, uh, no. Player? Stay away from him! Oh, there's mommy. Mommy long legs. I should have known you were slinking around here. So, you finally decided to show your true colors. Threatening my precious little spider son with a... With a... Is that a flamethrower? Yes. It sure yes, it is. is. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Before all this, I had a family too. A mom, a dad, a sister... She was always afraid of spiders, my sister. So wait, why did why why are you killing another family, or at least threatening to burn them alive? He obviously he's being brainwashed by whoever it is that's taken over Poppy Playtime. When she saw one in her room, she'd call me in, freaking out, shouting, "Kill it! Kill it!" I would always just let them go outside. But now, now I know there's only one way to get rid of a pesky spider: to kill it with fire. Why? I mean, yes, I do say that a lot. I don't really like spiders, but in this case scenario, yes, if a spider could talk yes, and walk and look kind of like a human, I would probably you know, not do it. Probably wouldn't burn them alive with a flamethrower. Like a flamethrower, really? What happened to Player? I don't know, but we need to get far away. Player's been brainwashed, sweetie. From him. Sorry. He was dangerous before, but now he's absolutely lost it. Yeah, he's uh, absurdly insane. In here! Hmm. Now where they sneak off to? Ah! Oh my gosh, Huggy! Don't worry, Huggy baby. dropped! Huggy's got you! <laughs> and... Thanks, oh. Huggy! <laughs> that would have been really funny if he completely missed, just like he did with Mommy. <laughs> what is this place? The furnace. Oh, is that Killy Willy? Yeah! This is where toys die in Playtime Co. Or at the very least, become forgotten. He's got a Killy weird belly Willy? button. What are you doing down here? Wait, your fur. Did Player burn you too? Player? I haven't seen him in a long, long time. But he's the reason I'm stuck in this eternal torment. Going through one furnace ignition after another. It's melted me to my core. And yet hate still keeps me alive. Well, trust me, he's only gotten worse since you've seen him. He started attacking me with a giant flamethrower out of nowhere. Plus, he's wearing this really creepy looking mask now. A mask, you say? Like a gas mask? Yeah, why? How does he know? <laughs> what are you laughing at, mister? I just realized whose game you're all playing. You know who's behind all this? Who? Another one of Xavier's twisted experiments, like you. I call him simply the Masked Man. There you are. <laughs> Real original. Real original. The Masked Man. All right, so whatever the mask is, it, it brainwashes people, right? It has to. Poor Huggy. You don't realize what's about to happen to you? By gathering here, you made my job a whole lot easier. No. He's going to activate the furnace. <gasps> Player, don't do this, please. You're a oh, good person. How are they don't gonna get out of this? No, I'm a monster. There's just a huge text logo on the wall that just says ignite. It just says ignite. Of course You're it does. Monsters. And as monsters, we need to be destroyed. Player, it's the mask! It's controlling your actions somehow! Fight it! <laughs> I can't! Oh, hey, Poppy! Poppy! No, get off of me! I won't let you take it from me! This is for your own good player! You've got this! Use those tiny arms! 
<laughs> <I can't laughs> just cheering her on. Oh, it worked. No, no. Got it. No. Poppy comes in clutch. Wait. What's going on? Why are you guys all standing in the furnace? Player! Oh, he has no idea what's just happening. Just a back, player. No! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, pal. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. My man's got anger issues. I, he just, he fully just popped the monitor. <laughs> he needs therapy. Oh, you think this is funny, do you? I suppose it is. <laughs> but what's funnier is what comes next. What's that? The masked man. What is he going to do? It's clear to me that I can't rely on others to do my dirty work. No. I alone have to wipe the slate clean. <laughs> By burning it all down. Oh. Oh, okay. All right, that guy's crazy. I also haven't seen this. This is the chapter three teaser trailer where I'm guessing they got some of the ideas from. Let's check this out, just so we at least there have a good idea. There is more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile. Yep, Huggy Wuggy's on the ground. All their hopes and dreams. We owe everything to these children. This company and its toys are not. Same with Mommy them. Long Legs. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that, as the founder of Playtime Co., I announce Playcare, our very own on site orphanage. A child should never be left unloved. There never it without is. Never a hand to hold when they see a monster in their There's closet. the mask. May Playcare bring joy. Inspiration and smiles to every child who enters. Alright, so we're door. going to see that character. I don't know if we'll be the exact same, but we're going to see the masked man in chapter three of Poppy Playtime. Oh, that's gonna be so scary, dude, but I'm looking forward to it. 2023. It's still like a couple months away, but 2023, I'm probably gonna play that, so make sure you guys are subscribed.